to the channel. So today is a floss tube day. Uh, this is a channel which normally have both floss, floss uh, my craft stitching and my diamond painting. But I've decided to break them in two. So every 14th day it's going to be a floss tube and every 14th day for diamond painting. So today is a floss tube day. I've just come home from work and Finally, we have a day where I've been able to to record. We've had some really, really dark days. Uh, the one day, I think it was Monday or something, the, the sun never showed up. It's um, around 10 degrees here, 7 to, 7 to 10 degrees, which is really, really warm in uh, for the year. So um, we have uh, some of our trees are starting to bloom. Um, so it's really weird. We haven't had any frost this year, almost, and uh, we are high north. So um, yeah, in Norway, they have had around 20 degrees and have been out swimming and so on. So yeah, the weather is just weird, isn't it? Otherwise, um, I've been working. Uh, it's been uh, one of these uh, 14 days where I've had some time to work on my things but it's been a really bit on off because we with uh, new years and so on and coming back and uh, annual closing of our accounts in uh, in the business controlling um, department where i work and so on has been really really busy so i've had some you know, long days um, it's starting to come down next year. Next week, we are going to have uh, the accountants, external accountants, to approve the um, yeah all our calculations and so on, and uh, then we are finished and done for this year. I hope so. That's good. Um, so yeah, but I have been able to stitch a bit also because I stitch a bit and during the vacation and I don't think that I showed you something or anything of it. So um, I think I will start with what I carried over from the 2019 which I have been working on. Just a tiny wee bit, not much. Um, I have worked on it when we've been out um, visiting um, my in-laws and so on. So now the cup is almost full. Um, and I only need to do the saucer. There's a bit left on the cup, but not much. So yeah, um, definitely one that's going to be finished within the next couple of months. So that's good, isn't it? Um, and then I am planning to start another one of these. I have a couple of them uh, lying around and I really enjoy them to have when I, uh, these stamp cross stitches, when I don't, uh, feel like counting but I feel like sewing. Um, then I have worked on my Gecko Rouge um, which is in this bag and it is, let's see if I can find her, it is my gamer if I have a picture of it. I think I have a picture of her somewhere. Let's see. I just saw a picture of her. Didn't I? Oh, she's here. Here she is. Uh, so I've started to work on her, and she is uh, one that I got from my husband in um, in a Christmas gift, and he is, she is stitched. All the flosses are here. It's really nicely done. Um, you can only buy these as kits uh, from the UK and I think mine is stitched uh, on a 25 count. Um, the stitches are 370 times 534, 99 DMC colors, so it's a huge painting which is going to take me years to do, I think. But anyway... Um, I have trucked along and I've done almost first page. I only need to fill out this area up here. And that's really, this one is of course 
really really easy to do but this one up here is confetti heavy and the stitches are tiny they are one over one so um uh but it's fun it's a really fun good project and i've i have um i haven't used pattern keeper for this one because my husband bought the pdf copy or not did not buy the pdf copy he he bought me the the heart uh back copy so um I have ordered from them uh, the PDF copy so I can use Pattern Keeper on it, which I love Pattern Keeper. Um, I am so happy with it. And um, the reason why I can say already that I'm happy with Pattern Keeper is that I uh, have worked on my diamond painting and used Pattern Keeper for it, and it's phenomenal. Um, the work uh, also with diamond painting even though you only put these drills down it takes so much less time and you don't have to go uh, back and fill out a color again because you've missed some symbols i enjoy that and that's the same thing that i hope to be able to do with this one is that when they get so confetti heavy either i think i i am a bit of a cross country stitcher so just to be able to cross crunchy stitch it or also find out where I've parked my frets. Um, that's just phenomenal. So I'm usually, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting the hard copy. Giggle Rouge is also uh, compatible with, um, with uh, Pattern Keeper as you probably have already know. I'm just going to say, take a sip of my coffee. And I turned it the way around. So I'm in this mood today. <laughs> um, so what have I else been doing? Um, I have started also because I just had a mania to start, didn't I? Um, I have been glaring at that one for quite a while because I love this pattern. So I've started it. And what I've done up till now is that I have, instead of using all the blues up here, I've substituted some of the colors and that they're, they're coming around a bit blah. Um, I still don't know if I'm going to keep them, but I wanted to make it a more colorful piece because I think this is um, rather old fashioned. So I tried, I think that I'm going to see if I can get some pinks and reds or some more happy colors and more yeah just joyful colors on it um but i don't know i'm just going to stitch a bit further i'm not not really i think they're fun to do these letters up here but if they do something for the piece i'm not quite sure i think that could be beautiful just without them like that um but i'm going to stitch them and see if I like it also if I like the coloring because it's this is a huge piece of uh, fabric so um, it's going to be ginormous when it's done uh, and that's also why I really want to make sure that I like the colors on it um, but you know as more you get filled out and so on you're better the better it gets um, I don't know if I'm quite happy with these two colors, but I can always take them out and substitute them with someone, something else. I was um, just thinking that I might do that. And I think I'm only going to have these three colors here, over here as well, just to, um, to stop it. Um, and then if I don't like it or want to substitute anything, I can do that. Um, but I just want to have a feel for it. Um, so yeah, huge piece going to take years as well. I'm, I always uh, go large. I, 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 I'm not that good at small things apparently. Um, so, um, so yeah. What have I else been doing? Yeah, then I, I've been working on my this one, which is um, my small. 
Let's see if I can find her somewhere. Let's see. If it's the mini little girl with the matches from Heaven and Earth, it's a. I think it's a Jasmine. I am just sorry. Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Uh, her. So I've been working on her. And now my husband is coming home from work. And I started on a 28 count even weave. And I took it out because, look, I've seen. <laughs> that's that's real rust colors from it. But I've taken it out because I can't see on it. Um, either I have to do it 2 over 2 or just drop it. So I got some other fabric, which is a 28 count. Um, and I'm still having issues, I think. I think I should have bought a, a 25 count. And my husband just waved in. Um, so I've just started to uh, fill out some more. It's just black, just to see how it looks. And it looks good here. But I've done it one over one, full cross. Um, just to see, and I think I'm going to do now, this one I'm using Pattern Keeper for. Um, I'm just going to go and greet him and then come back. So I'm back. Yeah, um, where did I left off? Okay, yeah, here. So um, I think that I'm going to use Pattern Keeper and try and stitch some more of the uh, colors and do it uh, two over one half stitches and the reason why i've done this as full cross one over one on the black one is i didn't like the coverage of it um the white was really showing through if i got it one two over one half cross um or ten stitch so um i am going to try to do the other one and see how it looks if it's going to look weird that you have all this with one over one full cross and then the other one with ten stitch. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Should I go? Should I just forget this and go down on a twenty-five color account and do it one over one full cross? I really like working on uh, the Gecko Rouge one, but I thought perhaps this would because it's not um, the, um, yeah, it's not. The hugest piece, this one, I was thinking that, um, or is uh, probably as large as the Giga Rouge, just to, but <laughs> I was just thinking just to do something different to try and do it with 10 stitch, but I can't, for the life of me, I can't see it on the 32 count. Um, it's impossible. Even with a magnifier, I am blinded. I can't do it. Um, so, and to count with these small ones, count uh confetti on it no 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 not going to happen that's not me but i think i can see it on this one a bit better so yeah trying to uh do a bit of things then we go to my last thing that i think i've been working on for this this time uh yeah it is um i have started to work on my stitch along style from um the cloud factory um i'm just going to see if i can find my phone it's here so i'm just going to see wait hang on if i can find my um here it is. So this is a stitch along and this is the first part of the stitch along. So it comes in 12 parts and as uh, you can see here, this is the division. So it's going to last all through 2020. So it's going to be a quite fun one. It's always a leap of faith to jump out to these stitch alongs, but I like the theme on it. It's Grimm's Fairy Tales. And I really like the way it comes because it comes with the 
fabrics and so on oh, not the fabrics it comes with um of course the the pattern and then whatever you need of um of uh, yarn and so on dmc and there's a bit of uh of it's not i think it's weak style work i've substituted the weak style work because that's not that's impossible to get in europe at the moment i think perhaps everybody's doing the sell and um, all of these colors were sold out so i stopped substitute them with um classic color works instead of um which are also really nice to work with um but they come uh with the pattern and then whatever uh type of um of material you need for this part of the pattern and then it comes with the story about uh or the fairy tale which um this part is going to mimic um and as you can see it says one so we're probably going to say once upon a time don't you think um so, but this one is the Bremen Museum, Town Museum Musicians. It's a fairly fair, popular fairy tale retrieved and recorded by the Brothers Grimm's. It was first published in the Grimm's Fairy Tale Tales in 1819. It tells the sto a story of four ancient domestic animals who, after a lifetime of hard work, are neglected and mistreated by their former masters. Eventually, they decide to run away and become town musicians in the uh, city of Bremen. So, <laughs> um, so it comes with this, and I think they've done really a good work, and they um, uh, they've taken the the entire entire fairy tale, and you can read it. So, um, so at the same time as you stitch, you also learn. A new fairy tale i don't think i've heard it my my children knew this fairy tale i didn't so uh, so that's fun um so yeah if you want to see my i haven't done all of it yet but i am a good deal and it looks really this is not either either the call i think they call for i can't remember which which fabric they called for um, I, I think they came with a su su suggestion but you can use 14 count 18 count or 16 count ada and i think this this is an even weed 32 count um which is really looking good um the, it is a green one, but this is not the one they call for. For I think they they call for one of the hand dyed ones. But again, it wasn't to get in uh, Europe, so um, I just chose this. But it looks really cute, and uh, yeah, I am so I'm really amused by it. It's uh, it's so fun to do, and uh, pretty easy to do as well. Um, I have I think that I am leaning towards these even weaves for her fabrics. I'm totally new at stitching, but I really like even weave. I like to do, um, to stitch on linen as well, but I find that sometimes the threads and linens are so, so thin that you can't see them. And then you stitch uh, wrong or the stitches look weird and so on. This is more even. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, uh, I enjoy working on this one. It's been um, it's been really fun to do, and and it's quick to stitch up. I think you can stitch it up in in six hours or so, depending on how fast a stitcher you are. I'm not a fast one, um, and as I'm new, things just go a bit slow. I I imagine. <coughs> so yeah, I um, I just need to be done with this in January and then the next one comes out in February. Um, if you want to see some the colors, it's in here, the color scheme, I can just take them out. I'm not sure that I've completely uh, hit the, the, the scheme chart uh, and if you do what they've called for, they probably are the 
bit different but lots of different beautiful light colors um pinks and yeah i'm just going to take another handful so you can see them i haven't got any bobbinators yet so i need to do that i need to bobbinate and i need to do all those things so yeah i'm just going to take it as it comes <laughs> so so yeah um they are in here i was also thinking whether or not i should just buy some bags some smaller bags and put them in um but yeah so yeah um i have had a bit haul um i'm just going to take out i have bought some mill hill beads for my um glendon place which is circle so beautiful purples and orange and these ones are gorgeous they're pink purple uh, golds and some green ones um and then i bought the new etoile dmc with a bit of a glitter in it this is a brown one i thought that i could use it um for some of my uh my uh on my uh, my uh, my uh, my, uh, my um, this one my sampler i was thinking perhaps it wasn't that bad and just to give it a bit of a sparkle somewhere perhaps in one of the circles and so on so um i thought that i would do that I, I it doesn't stand too much out so and then i bought let's see if i can find it in my mess that i've made <laughs> and then i bought these two um this one which is a E three T ten, so I think this is a glow in the dark. I think both of them are glow in the darks. So this one, I I it's really cool. My my son took it into his room. And it's it's totally green, <laughs> so it's so cool. So I think at one day, oh, I I want to stitch one of um, tiny modernists uh, cells. Uh, we just have to agree upon uh, which one of them. I think I'm going to stitch the one where it's a uh, verse. I don't know if I can find it somewhere and make the and 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 use the glow in the dark for uh for let's see if I can get it and use the glow in the dark for a tiny modernist I'm just going to see if I can find what I this one it's the 2019 cell and Luna used the glow in the dark for, for the skeletons um, down here who dance and so on so it could be really cool if it glowed in the dark when it was hang love the frame for it <laughs> so yeah um I think I'm going to buy that pattern and this and and sometime during perhaps uh, the summer um, find the right colors and so on and start stitching that one. It's so cute and I like the saying on it. So yeah, um, and then I bought two. two uh, fabrics the normal fabrics this is a monaco even weave lugana 28 count antique um, and i bought a white linen for my queen uh, for me this one this piece i hope it's big enough i'm i'm not sure otherwise i'm just going to find something all else to have her on but um 
I hope this one is big enough. Ah, don't you think? Oh, it's big enough. I think I bought it with the, with her in mind. So it calls on a on a linen which is just white. So um, so yeah. And this one I was planning just to have around if I want to stitch something. Again, it's an even weave. I really like these even weave. Yeah. So I think my next move is just to start um, buying some more, uh, not patterns, some more um, fabric and so on. Um, I have. I have the kits that I want. If I want to buy some more kits, I think I'm going to buy some more from Gecko Roos. I have a couple from Gecko Roos that I would really, really like to have. Um, but um, uh, I think I'm just going to save up for them because they're quite expensive. And the reason why I really want to buy them this year is that next year uh, Britain is no longer a part of the EU, so I don't know with taxes and so on going forward so for me it's just to buy whatever i need um because in britain they have a really good uh, selections of things and it um, and then we have some in italy and so on then mike is far behind on this point um we are still in uh in uh, the big embroideries and um yeah, permanent of Copenhagen, which is this company, is probably the only one which is in Denmark at the moment doing something, uh, which I like. Uh, so, so yeah, so yeah, um, short and sweet, I think, uh, not too long, but um, I'm going to be back with a floss tube in 14 days next week i'm going to do a diamond painting um thing <laughs> so so i hope you found this fun and i hope that i'm able to fill out the space the way i do it um i try to to get a fill, film up wednesday tuesday or wednesday this uh, time it went it was friday but it's simply because of the weather um it gets so dark so it's um it's really blurry and so on and i can so always really see that it's starting to blur up a bit so yeah but take care and have a really nice weekend for you who are going into the weekend now and uh, see you in 14 days or in a week if you want to see my diamond paintings as well um and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed give me a thumbs up comment below if you want um any um any um links and so on uh there was one who asked me if i would do a tutorial on how i stitch and so on and no i don't think that i'm ready for that yet i've only been stitching for one um four months um, i think you need to go to one of the more profound stitchers um who's done that for a long time because i'm too fumbly yet um my backs and back sides of the uh, works and so on i'm not perfect and yeah um it's a mess but um, we're getting there and i'm getting better and better it's a learning process like everything else and if there's something that I um, don't know how to do and so on, there's lots of good, really good tutorials um, on YouTube. So I use them as much as you do. So um, hopefully um, uh, you are going to uh, find whatever you need another place, perhaps in, in three, four, five years. I can show you how I do things and be profound and good at it. Uh, but not now uh, so yeah um, but take care and uh, see you in 14 days or next week bye for now